on June 2nd, 2024, an anonymous Tumblr user sent this ask to the MCYT Blur Confessions blog, stating that, quote, Not enough Minecraft YouTubers are talking about cheese. Frowny face emoji. Cheese emoji. End quote. They are correct. In the millions upon millions of videos about Minecraft on this site, most of them focus on, well, Minecraft instead of cheese. This is unacceptable. In a humble attempt to address this issue, today I will be talking about cheese. Cheese is a dairy product produced in a range of flavors, textures, and forms by coagulation of the milk protein casein. It comprises protein and fat from milk, usually the milk of cows, buffalo, goats, or sheep. During production, milk is usually acidified, and in, in either the enzymes of Rene or bacterial enzymes with similar activity are added to cause the casein to coagulate. The solid curds are then separated from the liquid whey and pressed into finished cheese. Some cheeses have aromatic molds on the rind, the outer layer, or throughout. Over a thousand types of cheese exist, produced in various countries. Their styles, textures, and flavors depend on the origin of the milk, including the animal's diet, whether they have been pasteurized, the butterfat content, the bacteria and mold, the processing, and how long they have been aged. Herbs, spices, or wood smoke may be used as flavoring agents. The yellow to red color of many cheeses is produced by adding a natto. Other added ingredients may include black pepper, garlic, chives, or cranberries. A cheesemonger or specialist seller of cheeses may have expertise with selecting, purchases, re purchasing, receiving, storing, and ripening cheeses. Most cheeses are acidified by bacteria, which turn milk sugars into lactic acid. Then the addition of Rene completes the curdling. Vegetarian varieties of Rene are available. Most are produced for, through fermentation by the f fungus Mucormehe, but others have been e extracted from various species of the Cynara Cyn thistle family. For a few cheeses, the milk is curdled by added acids, such as vin vinegar or lemon juice. Cheese is valued for its portability, long shelf life, and higher content of fat, protein, calcium, and phosphorus. Cheese is much more compact and has a longer shelf life than milk, although how long a cheese will keep depends on the type of cheese. Hard cheeses, such as Parmesan, last softer than such soft cheeses, such as brie or, goat, or goat's milk cheese. The long storage life of some cheeses, especially when encased in a protective rind, allows selling when markets are favorable. Vacuum packaging of block-shaped cheeses and gas flushing of plastic bags with mixture of carbon dioxide and nitrogen are used for storage and mass distribution of cheeses in the 21st century. The word cheese comes from Latin casus, from which the modern word casein is also derived. The earliest sources from the Proto-Indo-European root quat, which means to ferment, become sour. That gave rise to cis or sisse. In, in Old English and Chets in Middle English. Similar words are shared by other West Germanic languages, West Frisian Chis, Dutch Kass, German Kasse, Old High German Kasse, Tsi, all from the reconstructed West Germanic form Kasse, which in turn is an early borrowing from Latin. The online etymological dictionary states that cheese derives from Old English Sis, West Saxon Sisse, Anglican, from West German Kastus, a source also of Old Saxon Kassi, Old High German Kassi, German Kasse, Middle Dutch Kasse, Dutch Kass, from Latin Cases, for cheese, source of um, Italian Cazio, Spanish Queso, Irish Kassi, Welsh Kass. The online etymological dictionary states the word is of unknown origin, perhaps from a proto indo Indo-European root quat to ferment become sour, source also of Prakrit chassis, buttermilk, Old Church Slavonic kvasu, leaven, fermented drink, kielsu, sour, ketsi, to turn sour, chech katsi, to turn sour, rot, Sanskrit kvati, boiled seed, Gothic huatheon, foam. Also compare fromage. Old Norse ulster, Danish ost, Swedish ost are related to Latin, us, broth, sauce, juice. 
When the Romans began to make hard cheeses for the legionary surprise, a new word started to be used. Formaticum, from Cesus formatus, or molded cheese, as in formed, not moldy. It is from the f this form that the French fromage, standard Italian formaggio, Catalan formaggio, Breton formage, and Occitan formaggio, or formaggio, are s derived of the Romance languages, Spanish, Portuguese, Romanian, and Tus Tuscan, and some Southern Italian dialects use words des described from cases, queso, quejo, cast, gacchio, and caso, for example. The word cheese itself is occasionally employed in a sense that means molded or formed. Head cheese uses the word in this sense. The term cheese is also used as a noun, verb, and adjective in a number of figur figurative expressions, e.g. the big cheese, to be cheesed off, and cheesy lyrics. Cheese is an ancient food whose origins predate recorded history. There is no conclusive evidence indicating where cheese making originated, whether in Europe, Central Asia, or the Middle East. The earliest proposed dates for the origin of cheese making range from around 8000 BCE, when sheep were first domesticated. Because the animal skins and inflated internal organs have provided stored vessels for a range of foodstuffs since ancient times, it is probable that the process of cheese making was discovered accidentally by storing milk in a curd container made from the stomach of an animal, resulting in the milk being turned to curd and whey by the Rene from the stomach. There is a legend, with variations, about the discovery of cheese by an Arab trader who used this method of storing milk. The earliest evidence of cheese making in the archaeological record dates back to five. 5500 BCE, and is found in what is now Kuyavia, Poland, where strainers coated with milk fat molecules have been found. The earliest evidence of cheese making in the Mediterranean dates back to 5200 BCE, on the coast of the Dalmatia region of, Cro of Croatia. Cheese making may have become, begun independently of this by the practicing and salting of curdled milk to preserve it. Observation that the effect of making cheese in an animal's stomach gave more solid and better textured curds may have led to the deliberate addition of Rene. Early archaeological evidence of Egyptian cheese has been found in Egyptian tomb murals dating to about 2000 BCE. A 2018 scientific paper stated that the world's oldest cheese, dating to approximately 1200 BCE, 3200 years before present, was found in ancient Egyptian tombs. The early cheeses were quite likely sour and salty, similar in, in texture to rustic cottage cheeses or feta, a crumbly, flavorful Greek cheese. Cheese produced in Europe, where climates are cooler than in than the Middle East, required less salt for preservation. With less salt and acidity, the cheese became a suitable environment for useful microbes and molds, giving aged cheeses their, ref their respective flavors. With less salt and acidity, the cheese became. The earliest ever discovered preserved cheese was found in the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang, in Xinjiang China, Qing, dating back as early as 1615 BCE, 3600 years before present. Ancient Greek mythology credited Aristeus with the discovery of cheese. Homer's Odyssey describes the Cyclops making and storing cheese, cheap, sheep's and goat's milk cheese. We soon reached his cave, but he was out shepherding, so we went inside and took stock of all that we could see. His cheese racks were loaded with cheeses, any more lambs and kids than his pens could hold. When he had done so, he sat down and milked his ewes and goats, all in a due course, and then each of them had their own young. He curdled half the milk and set it aside in wicker strainers. Columella's De Re Rustica, C65 CE, details a cheese-making process, including rene collagulation, pressing of the curd, salting, and aging. According to Pliny the Elder, it had become a sophisticated enterprise by the time the Roman, the Roman Empire came into being. Pliny the Elder also mentions in his writing Caesus Helveticus, a hard sprint like cheese produced by the Helvetii. Cheese was an everyday food and cheese making a mature art in the Roman Empire. Pliny's Natural History devotes a chapter to, de to describing the diversity of cheeses enjoyed by Romans of the early empire. He stated that the best cheese came from villagers near Nimes, but did not keep long and had to be eaten fresh. Cheeses of the Alps and Apennines were as remarkable for their variety then as now. A Ligurian cheese was noted for being made mostly from sheep's milk, and some cheeses produced nearby were stated to weigh as much as a thousand pounds each. Goat's milk cheese was a recent taste in Rome, improved over the mycidinal chase of Gaul's similar cheeses by smoking. Of cheeses from overseas, Pliny preferred those of Lithia in Asia Minor. As Romanized populations encountered new, unfamiliar, newly settled neighbors bringing their own cheese-making traditions, their own flocks, and their own really unrelated word for cheeses, 
Jesus in Europe diversified further, with various locales developing their own tr distinctive traditions and products. The advancement of the cheese art in Europe was slow during the centuries after Rome's fall. Its long-distance trade collapse, only travelers would encounter unfamiliar cheeses. Charlemagne's Magnon's first encounter with a white cheese that had an edible rind forms one of the constructive the constructed anecdotes of Notker's life of the emperor. In 1022, it is, it is mentioned that Vlach, our Romanian shepherds from Thessaly and the Pindus Mountains in modern Greece, provided cheese for Constantinople. Many cheeses popular today were first recorded in the late Middle Ages or after. Cheeses such as cheddar around 1500, Parmesan in 1597, Gouda in 1697, and Camembert in 1791 show post-Middle Ages dates. In 1546, the Proverbs of John Haywood claim the moon is, in, the moon is made of a, of a green cheese. Green may refer here not to the color, as many now think, but being new or unaged. Variations on this sentiment were long repeated, and NASA exploded this myth for an April Fool's Day spoof announcement in 2006. Until its modern spread, along with the European culture, cheese was nearly unheard of in East Asian cultures and in the pre-Columbian Americas, and had only limited use in sub-Mediterranean Africa, mainly being widespread and popular only in Europe, the Middle East, the Indian subcontinent, and areas include influenced by those cultures. But with the spread, first of European imperialism, and later of Euro-African culture and food, cheese has gradually become known and increasingly popular worldwide. The first factory for the industrial process of cheese opened in Switzerland in 1815, but large-scale production first found real success in the United States. Credit usually goes to Jesse Williams, a dairy farmer from Rome, New York, who in 1851 started making cheese in an assembly line fashion using the milk from neighboring farms. This made cheddar cheese one of the first U.S. industrial foods. Within decades, hundreds of such commercial dairy associations existed. The 1860s start, saw the beginning of mass-produced RNA, and by the turn of the century, scientists were producing pure microbial cultures. Before then, bacteria and cheesemaking had come from the environment or from recycling in earlier batches way. The pure culture made, meant a more standardized cheese could be produced. Factory-made cheese overtook traditional cheesemaking in the World War II area, and factories have been the source of most cheese in America and Europe ever since. By 2012, cheese was one of the most shoplifted items from supermarkets worldwide. In 2021, world production of cheese from the whole cow milk was 2.2 was 22.2 million tons, with the United States accounting for 28% of the total, followed by Germany, France, Italy, and the Netherlands as, second, as secondary producers. As of 2021, the carbon footprint of a kilogram of cheese ranged from 6 to 12 kilograms of CO2 EQ, depending on the amount of milk used. Accordingly, it is generally lower than beef or lamb, but higher than other foods. France, Iceland, Finland, Denmark, and Germany were the highest consumers of cheese in 2014, averaging 25 kilograms per person per annum. A required step in cheese making is separating the cheese and separating the milk into solid curds in liquid whey. Usually, this is done by acidifying or souring the milk and adding rennet. The acidification be can be accomplished directly by the addition of an acid, such as vinegar, in a few cases, paneer, queso fresco. More commonly, starter bacteria are employed instead, which converts milk sugars into lactic acid. The same bacteria also play a large role in the eventual flavor of aged cheeses. Most cheeses are made with starter bacteria from the, from the Lactococcus, Lactobacillus, or Streptococcus genera. Swiss starter cultures also include Pronobacteria shermani, which produces propagionic acid and carbon dioxide gas bubbles during aging giving Swiss cheese or menthol its holes, called eyes. Some fresh cheeses are curdled only by acidity, but most cheeses also use rennet. Rennet sets the cheese into a strong and rubbery gel compared to the fragile curds produced by acidic coagulation alone. It also allows curdling at a, curdling at a lower acidity, important because flavor-making bacteria are inhibited in high acidity environments. In general, smaller, softer, fresher cheeses are curdled with a greater proportion of acid to Rene than harder, larger, or longer aged varieties. While Rene was traditionally produced via extraction from the inner mucosa of the fourth stomach chamber of slaughtered young, unweaned calves, most Rene used today, and cheese making is produced recombinantly. 
the majority of the ascribed consonants retained in the white ant at most may be present in cheese and quace and trace quantities. In ripe cheese, the type and prominence of chemosin used in production cannot be determined. At this point, the cheese is set into a very moist gel. Some soft cheeses are now essentially complete. They are drained, salted, and packaged. For most of the rest, the curd is cut into small cubes. This allows water to drain from the individual pieces of curd. Some hard cheeses are then heated to temperatures in the ranges of 35 to 55 degrees Celsius or 95 to 101 degrees Fahrenheit. This forces more away from the cut curd. It also changes the taste of the fin finished cheese, affecting both the bacterial culture and the milk chemistry. Cheeses that are heated to the higher temperatures are usually made with thermophilic starter bacteria that survive this step, either lactobacillus or streptococcus.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 